so this video is going to be called Top 10 Stoner Pet Peeves. Alright, the person who holds the blunt hostage while they tell a fucking story. Okay, though nearly every stoner has been guilty of this on multiple occasions, but it's by far the most annoying aspect of blazing in a whole group. And unfortunately, as the session wears on, it occurs with more and more frequency because everyone gets high and doesn't realize they're doing it. After 30 seconds, it's the responsibility of the rest of the group to stop this motherfucker from talking and to tell them to shut the fuck up and pass the fucking blunt. And they should learn to pat, take a hint before fucking talking. <laughs> Number two, the paranoid smoker. Like the hurried smoker, this is the bitch who think it, thinks it's necessary to keep surveillance while watch watch while hot boxing. Ugh, tongue tied. <laughs> who refuses to get into the restaurant because oh we smell like weed. Who won't stop shushing while we smoke in the park because they're gonna call the cops. Ah, the paranoid smoker who has the ability to ruin a smoke session like any other because just like laughing and just like the munchies, paranoia is contagious. Okay, I'm put the piece in the dash just for a second. That's what happens. Number three, ash related party fouls. There are so many ways to fuck up when it comes to ash. Okay? From not ashing the blunt for too long, so a fat blob lands in your lap, hitting the slide against the coffee table to clear it out, and then breaking it, burning a hole in any couch, sheet, car, roof, losing the joint, whether it be in between the seats of the car, through the decks of your patio, or dropping in a cup full of water. Smoking party fouls obviously increase the higher we get, but unfortunately, just like STDs, there is no way to fully prevent them from other than abstinence. Pass the blunt. <laughs> Number four, the person who continually messes up the smoking order. Okay, um, this really pisses me off. There's always that one idiot who insists on passing it to the left when we're passing it to the fucking right. It's the circle of life, and it moves in one fucking direction. Okay? Okay. And then number five. The person who can't stop coughing. Oh my god. Okay. A few chesty coughs is a sign of a bong well ripped. But when it starts sounding like a person who has terminal smoker's asthma, that shit gets annoying. Number six. The person who reveals they are recovering from long-term mono. After sharing an entire blunt with you, oh my god. The only thing worse than this is someone is someone revealing to you that the and to the rest of the group that they suffer from her oral herpes. Keep your contagion contagious grossness to your fucking self and keep it off my blunt. Okay? Okay. Number seven, a rushed blazing process. Okay. Whether you're smoking between classes, trying to hot box your room, your sister's room, your brother's room, a friend's room, before they come home, or simply being rushed by your annoying friends so you can go to the hurry up and get to the next activity, being heard while bleeding is as frustrating as it is heart wrenching. Being prohibited from fully enjoying the smoking process is like stop peeing halfway through or pausing sex just to watch a show. <coughs> Number eight, the person who needs you to light it for them. After you're gonna make a few sad attempts to lighting their thumb, the person who can't light the bowl will pathetically whine about it and will mostly be like, oh, hey, can you lay this for me, please? No. Okay, well, you should agree to this, but know that you will forever reserve the right to call them out for their deficiencies. 
Okay? Yeah. Number nine, the person who nigglets the piece and or puts on chapstick right before smoking it. Okay. Because everyone loves cherry flat cherry flavored joint and moistened with their secondhand favorite minty blistex. Because everyone loves that. Seriously, nothing puts a literal damper on the smoking process more than placing the blunt to your lips and experiencing more moistness. Also, that awkward moment when you're handed a wet blunt and you get blunt juice all over your lips and teeth. Ew! And it's everywhere. Seriously, that's gross. No one would want to smoke with you. <laughs> Number 10. When people don't corner the bowl, this is their fine smoker's etiquette, but should not be overlooked, people. It is courtesy, especially if you're smoking in a group of three or more, <laughs> to only hold the lighter over the corner of the bowl as you hit it, so that those following you can also smoke fresh green as opposed to your booted aftermath. <sighs> Don't hog the whole thing. Please. Alright, well, this is me, and I'm done with this video. Hope all of you enjoyed it, and, well, there you go. This is for my back in the days thing, and most of my stoner friends would enjoy this video. Um, even though I quit smoking. <laughs> um, so, there you go. Love you guys, and hope you enjoy it. Subscribe. Whoa. Okay, well, bye. Love you guys.